All right, yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sisu here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial here today. We're gonna be bringing us a cool little, I call it like in the font, like file name, com like simplistic uh, quality design. Uh, what, I what I feel like I'm expressing here on this example I'm showing you guys right now is a very nice clean, like almost HD, just a nice quality, prestigious looking design that's very simple to do. But of course, if you were not anywhere near like, you know, uh, experience in Photoshop or whatever, or like blending or just like knowing things, um, it probably wouldn't come that easy to you. So with this little style I have here, this like very, it, it captures, uh, I would say like, like anything you want to do with it. So if you want to like add pictures or uh, like an HD really, by the way, this is like, if you're going to be using anything with a style, uh, any like, you know, image and such, only use like if you're searching on Google or whatever, or if you're taking your own pictures, make sure they're like really high quality pictures. Um, that will of course help out the quality of the banner overall, and as well as I'm in the I'm in a Twitter header dimension here, so I'm at the I'm at the 1500 by 500 pixel uh, dimensions uh, as Twitter header like recommended uh, you know he uh, header settings I guess you would say. Uh, my resolution though was at 350. So if there's any like point in time where you can make your own template and such, make sure your resolution is really really high. I would say like anything above 250, 300, 350 is really really good. Um. With that being said, if you don't know what that really means or really what it really does, it just holds quality. It holds quality like better, uh, as well as if you like you know have text here and such. And like if I type right now, if I type LOL or whatever, and I'm at one like I'm at one like point, and you can still see it. If you're like at one point and you can like uh, you can like probably see it like extremely big or whatever. It's like really pixelated, or you can't see it at all. It's just like really small or whatever. Either way. Like, you can see, if you're like, mine is at 30 points, that's pretty small, but it's still, like, really big, because the quality is holding, the resolution is higher, so that's why, another little thing, a little tip or whatever. Um, so yeah, other than that, you can see what we have here, we have a nice little black background, with a really cool transition of gradients from yellow to orange, really, really nice. Um, the thing, like, like I said, what this is, if you're using pictures, or, like, this thing holds, like, really nice stocks as well, if I use my brush stock, for, of course, uh, the update did come out, by the way, brush pack. Uh, version 12 is out. It will get re-updated soon just because I want to put more that I have in here for like the update as such. And of course, once you buy it once, you get the updates and through your email uh, for five bucks. Really, really sick. Um, but anything I do with this, I just feel like it just it just holds the uh, the style really well. Like if I wanted to add things like this or whatever, it's just random, but it looks good or whatever. You know what I mean? So like using pictures as well is gonna be fun to use and all that cool stuff. All right, cool. Don't forget, guys. 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. I'll put the PSD of this file for you guys to use and explore yourself for, you know, self-teaching. I don't know. Um, so whatever works for you. Uh, otherwise, the only thing you're going to really, uh, really need for this uh, little project here is this, like a smoke stock or something that really gives you like a really nice atmosphere, kind of like background. You can see mine. I have a, I have the smoke stock. I'll give you guys I actually have this one right here. I typed in smoke background. I found the stock. It doesn't have any like crazy copyrights or whatever. But if I, if you want to see, um... I want to use the same exact stock, I'll give you the exact link that I have where I got it from, and you can use it as well. I'm just going to be using this for example as well right now as today. So um, with that being said, that's the only really thing that you're going to be using. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. So let's get started right now. Uh, let's go. So we're going to make a new layer really quickly. And the only thing we have to do, I'm going to name this background. The only thing you have to make sure you have is obviously a black background, but use this hex code 171717. It's one of the best blacks to use for like, you know, if you're using like smoke text and such. Uh, just because if I just show you right now, I want to throw this smoke texture in. Uh, by the way, you can already see it's rasterized. It's a rasterized image, which means it's really high quality uh, that I can shrink it and lower it and will, it will still keep its quality and maintain its quality. Uh, that's why I'm telling you if you're going to use anything with this kind of style or whatever, just try to use like really, really like nice pictures. Uh, nice quality pictures. Um, anyway, what I was saying with this black here, uh, it, it goes really well with like a lot of things. But uh, if I put this new image here that I have, and I put this from normal, the uh, layer style to divide now, you can see it kept, It just really holds things really well. It looks really, really nice right here. So really quickly, I'm going to rasterize this layer just by pressing the eraser, clicking on it, or right-click rasterize layer. Uh, I'm just going to take my eraser with a soft eraser, right? I'm just going to click and get rid of this hard line here. Just click and you know, drag a little bit, a couple clicks. And what I'm gonna do right away is I'm gonna make a duplicate of this. So I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift on my keyboard, uh, just like so, move it to the right, just make a duplicate. Now, what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna make it really noticeable if like people are like really looking into detail critique of your you know your uh, background here. I wanna make it noticeable that I'm actually just marrying the image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this a little bit, like on this side or whatever. And I'm gonna give it like a nice rotation or flip horizontal and vertical um, or just maybe like, like that, 
That doesn't look bad. Although that's just the same exact orientation, right? Like flip vertical, maybe? We'll do that. Uh, well, that's pretty good. So you can't really completely notice right off the, like, the bat like it's a reflected image. So that's what I'm going to do. And with this right now, I'm going to control click on these both, uh, these two layers here. Control E to merge them together. And I'm going to throw uh, divide back on. And now that I have this here, what I want to do is just blur it off just a little bit. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot. Uh, we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to blur it by about like 12 pixels or so, just like so. You can see that here. And we're starting to really capture that little atmosphere kind of look that I have my other uh, my other example there. Um, what I'm going to do right away, though, is I'm going to actually put a brightness and contrast on. This will make my uh, nice and dark. Um, that's kind of what I want. That's what I'm looking for right now. And just like so, we probably will add another brightness and contrast near the end. Uh, for now, I'm going to just lower my brightness to like negative 40. And my contrast is going to put it up to about, like, maybe about 30 or so. Or 25. I don't know. We can always change it or whatever. Uh, for now, this is looking good so far. What we can do right now is we're going to do some text. So I'm going to write the word SSOHQ. Uh, we're going to make it white. And the font that I'm using is Prototype. I'm, pl I'm pretty sure you can find it on uh, defont.com. It's a very nice font. I like it a lot. Uh, just like so. Put this in the middle or so. Now for text or whatever, just trying to keep like a nice clean font or even like a very uh, like an elegant kind of font. If you're just, just think like it's really hard to get your mindset in like what is clean. Like if you see that word using, being used or what is quality. Um, I don't know, it can mean a lot of different things in all honesty, but is just if you see your stocks blending well, if you just see like everything like flowing through the design really well, that's just something you pick up with experience. And with that being said, I'm just going to quickly, uh, we're going to write the word YouTube graphic designer and period uh, we're gonna lower this down the points and I'll put it to 1.5 put it on the left side and make sure it's lined up pretty well all right come on there we go lined up and now we just have this here it just looks I don't know just looks elegant prestigious whatever and just you know just add some text in all right so we're really uh, really quickly though I'm gonna control click on the text really quick uh, control J to uh, basically combine them or just basically merge them to a group. I'm gonna call this text and we're gonna make another duplicate of this, uh, this little text group here. So control J to duplicate it, control E to uh, go ahead and merge it together. And we're gonna do is hold control on our keyboard or I think it's options or like command on Mac. I suck. Like I used throughout the entire semester, last semester, the Mac and I don't even, st I still don't remember where the freaking options key was. Anyway, hold control on your keyboard, uh, press, the uh, little thumbnail here. This will select all the pixels with inside the uh, layer here, which this is text. So it's gonna select the text and it's little like little marking uh, march. What do they call this? Like marching ants in like high school. Um. So yeah, select, modify, expand. This will expand the uh, the selection here. Press it by 10 pixels or so. Pixels. And what we're gonna do is make a new layer below this little copy here. And we're just gonna fill this in with any color. It does not matter at all. So control backspace is fine. Um. What we're going to do right away is lower our fill all the way down to zero. Uh, if you don't know what your fill is, your fill is basically the uh, the opacity of just the photo itself. If you lower your fill down to zero, and if I double click on this layer really quickly, if I go to stroke, you'll be able to still see any layer styles on this uh, layer here just because you didn't lower the opacity. You only lowered the fill, which is basically the, uh, the picture on the layer. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to just change this to this little yellow I have over here. We're going to keep it on the outside, and we'll just put it to about like four you know, points or so. Or five. I think five is good. Yep, that looks pretty nice. So uh, drop shadow. I'm just going to leave it on this default setting, so 505. And just like so, press OK. And now we have our text looking all nice or whatever. Um, I'm just going to add a period, you're right. You know, I'm just going to add a little period. Why not? A nice big period. But I kind of want it to be a circle. Uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't know. Would it look weird? I do kind of want to be a circle. So like, what is this, Arial? The arrow's a square too? What the heck, is all these things squares? Oh my gosh, they're like all squares. Is it like something I just never knew? A period is not actually a period? Dude, I just got like straight up tilted. What? This is like mind blowing to me. Uh, there's a circle, thanks Nexabold. See, this is why you and I are friends. All right, we'll just add a little period there. Or now it just looks weird with the period. Oh, I'm done with the period. I Still, that's educational, right? Like periods are like squares nowadays, right? What the freak? Anyway, cool. <laughs> just completely got off track. Uh, right now, what we can do is we can just add a nice little layer right here. New layer. 
and we can just add a nice little white uh, on our foreground, our foreground color. And with a brush, like a nice simple soft brush, we're just going to give us a nice little uh, focus light on the top, just like this. That's pretty good, like a nice size. You can see it's starting to look really, really nice so far. We're going to lower our opacity down maybe like 80% or so, or even lower 70%. That looks okay. And then really, like really quickly, I want to add another brightness and contrast. Like I said before, I'm probably going to be adding another one, nice dark. And here we go. We're making it look really, really nice and clean right now, or a nice, you know, quality design here. Um, what I can do now is I'm going to take a new layer. We're going to add a nice little rectangle marquee tool right in the bottom here. And we'll select the same color as before, this little yellow I have here. Boom. Just like so. Maybe a little bit more shorter, just something like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pen tool here. I'm gonna click so I can go through like the half, like a nice slanted half. So like right from here to there, I would say, like, you know, like slice it through. We'll go around, oh no, we're gonna around this way. Right, right click, make selection, press okay, delete on your keyboard. There we go, give it that little line there. Um, what you can do as well, if you want like particles like I have on mine, uh, wait, uh, do -do -do. I have it like right here. I have like little particles or whatever. I'll show you how to do that right now. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Don't need this, right? All right, cool. All right, so for the particles, all I did, I made a new layer. I used a brush. I used a really hardness brush, so a nice 100% hardness brush. Uh, size really didn't matter too much, but like I have it on 30 points if you care. Um, I'm just going to click a bunch of times. Actually, I'm going to make it white. I'm going to go ahead and click a bunch of times, just like so. Where I kind of want my particles to be at, uh, something like that, like this, like this, like that. That's fine, whatever. Um, what I did, I put my normal uh, layer style to dissolve. I lowered my dissolve opacity all the way down to maybe about you can see this here on yourself, like two like opacity, pretty good. Um, what you can do as well is if you don't want just like particles like this, you can use like uh, motion blur, uh, give you like little line like streaks like that. It looks pretty cool. Um, other than that, that's all I really did for the particle part. Um, I don't kind of want a one opacity, what that looks like. All right, it doesn't look terrible. What I can do is combine another layer, just a nice blank layer with this dissolve layer to basically get rid of the dissolve, like, uh, like you know, how it would work if I lower my opacity. Merge those two together so it's no longer a dissolve layer. So if I lower my opacity down, I can just lower the opacity and only the opacity and not mess with any of the dissolve. 50% um, opacity is pretty good. Uh, what do I want to do now? I don't really have too much, like, thought. I just have, like, stay connected and like my Twitter and stuff on the top or whatever. Anything you do really after this is all up to you, but to get the second like tone layer, like a nice cool little layer, um, or two to, two different colors, I use hue and saturation. Uh, we'll just use the orange like before. And what I did was I just basically used my eraser and I clicked on this little white uh, thumbnail here on the hue and saturation. And I just basically used my eraser here and just erase. And there we go. We got two tone colors now. And now, if I wanted to care to see with other, what other, other color, color, oh my goodness, what other colors look like, I can just flip through just like so, and that looks pretty nice as well. Uh, green looks pretty badass, and it's just like whatever. It's just like a little fun thing I did with the text. Uh, nothing really crazy. Even if you didn't want like the, uh, like the background back layer to whatever, it can still look whatever. This is like a nice, a nice very uh, like a set like you know like how would you call it like a setup for like whatever you want to do afterwards and want to start making your own design and all that crazy stuff. So you can use some of the tutorials that I have that give you guys, give you guys some more ideas or if you want to keep it nice and clean like this or whatever. Otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's just another like, you know, example one. So I really, I, this is a Monday upload. So I just wanted to upload something that gives you guys some kind of like character or just like, you know, set you guys off for maybe a next tutorial. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy Like I said before, um, by the way, comment down below if you guys are on uh, winter break or not because I kind of want to start streaming again for uh, you know once in a while once in a while Just like you know answer some questions do some designs on stream I'm really down to do that. So just let me know if you guys are on spring uh, not spring break uh, winter break or not um, Other than that just like if you're not just like to tell me when please like thanks um, So yeah, don't forget to leave a like guys Twitter likes on the video equals a second down below Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at switch Q check out my self I self I.com slash switch Q where you can find uh, amazing packs and pre-mades and such for lows like 
five bucks, which is pretty crazy. The everything pack for $30, you get everything in my store for one price of $30, and anything that comes out from my store is actually emailed to you for free, so it's pretty freaking sick. So things like my brush pack, like I, saw, I showed you in the beginning, will be in there, all that crazy stuff. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys already know how much I love you guys. Thank you guys, just thank you, you know? That's, you know, that's it, you know? I'll talk to you guys later. This is what you Peace.